everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today, you guys, my week is, is getting away from me here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of skip ahead in my itinerary, in the itinerary that we followed, and I'm going to share with you our trip with Jaylene's Alaska today in this video. And Jaylene's Alaska is in the day in Juneau is pretty much the only thing that I will be covering in this video. But I want to be sure to get this video out as quickly as I can here after returning home and kind of within the queue, you know, of, of my travel vlogs, if you will. Uh, I'm really excited to let you know that Jaylene has, her business has grown and she's doing so very well. And it's grown to the point where she now owns three boats. Oh my goodness. I am so happy for you, Jaylene, if you're watching. So, so happy for you. There is no one more deserving on the planet than you. You have worked so hard Jaylene is one of the most personable, charismatic ladies that you'd ever want to meet. And she has a heart for the whale watching in Juno like no one I've ever met. I highly encourage you to book your tour with Jaylene's Alaska. And uh, she does have three boats now and uh, they are three six person boats. So she can take six people on each boat. If you have more in your party, then she will split the party possibly and do two boats at the same time so that you can take pictures of one another on your boats. Regardless of how you plan to do your tour with Jaylene, please, 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 please <laughs> do yourself a favor and book with Jaylene's Alaska. Not only will you get the personal touch that she can bring with her because she is a local Juno girl. She grew up in the area uh, right off of Ock Bay and uh, she was homeschooled, but she did go to, oh, Jaylene, the University of Fairbanks, I believe something like that. Uh, and uh, she, but she was brought up right there in Juno. She is, there's nobody more familiar with the local whale population than Jaylene. And all of the captains there in Juneau work together to help one another with their whale watching to find the whales wherever they are. Now, the boats do need to stay 100 yards away. I'm just going to preface this whole video by saying this. The boats, captains and the boats need to stay away from the humpback whales. They need to stay at least 100 yards away. Well, that is if the humpback doesn't come swimming toward the boat, that is, which you will see in a little bit of video footage that I have for you that they absolutely do uh, during our tour. But let me back up and start with, uh, you know, earlier in the morning. Of course, this is one of the days that I was most looking forward to. Sorry, I, my phone is giving me fits here. All right, there we go. Tried my, my phone started going a little wacky with the lighting here. The sun just came out really bright <laughs> here. And I think it, it my phone went, ah, what is, what's it doing back there? But anyway, this day was one of the days that I was so looking forward to because we built such a lovely camaraderie with Jaylene last year when we went on her tour last September. And I just could not wait to see her again. I couldn't wait to see her and give her a hug and, you know, get to chat with her again. She's so much fun. Jaylene is so much fun. And she's so, like I said, personable. She's got stories. And, and, and like I said, nobody that I've ever been with. And we've been on many whale watching excursions. And I'm not putting anyone else down. All of the whale watching excursions, or most of them, or all the ones that I've been on anyway, have been wonderful. But Jaylene's is just a tick above, just a little bit notch above, in my humble opinion. So anyway, all right, let me back up to the morning. We pulled into Juno very early in the morning. Uh, I've got my princess patter here to remind me of exactly when we pulled in. Uh, let's see, we arrived at about 6.30 a.m., 
And our tour was scheduled, I believe, for 7.30 or 8, something like that. I think we needed to meet her on shore by 7.30, which was easily done. We were able to get off of the ship. They, you know, we got permission from the port authorities or whatever to disembark and absolutely had no problems getting off of the ship. I walked off of the ship. I did not take my scooter. Jaylene's does not, you can't take your scooter. If you have mobility problems, to the point where you cannot walk. And I'll tell you as we go on here, you know, you have to walk a good ways. You have to walk a little bit of a ways. So what we did was we actually took our, took my scooter to Barb and Dawn's room, which was on the Emerald deck, which is deck eight, 300, and parked it in their room. They had an ADA room, which was pl plenty of room, plenty of room for both Dawn's and my scooter. And then all we needed to do was get on the walk right out to the elevator, which was right outside their door, hop on the elevator and go down three or four decks and just walk right off because that's where the, uh, the gangplank was, you know. So just pay attention in the morning and they will make announcements and tell you where the gangplank is. And you know, make arrangements for yourselves or think about what you can do in order to help yourself if you have mobility issues. I'm doing much, 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 much better. And I think Don took his cane. So we did fine on this day because we are both somewhat mobile. Uh, we're just not extremely mobile as far as walking way, you know, that ship back and forth and back and forth and up and down and over and around. And it's, you know, a lot or walking way into a port. It's a lot. But Jaylene met us right at, we were, we were docked at the Franklin dock and she met us right as soon as you walk off of the ship, you just, we just took a right and there were some restrooms right to the right with a little parking lot and benches there. So we just made our way over there and we're waiting for her and she pulled up right on time and jumped out of her van and here we were saying hello to Jaylene again. Oh my goodness. We were so excited. I wanted to tell you we had invited, it was Barb and Dawn and Chris and myself, and we also invited our sweet friend Stella and her husband Richard. They are from Australia, and we met them through the Alaskan Cruises on Princess group, and, we, and they are a wonderful couple, and we just adore them. So we had invited them to be our fifth and sixth on the boat with us, and they were thrilled to come with us. So here, Barb, Stella, and I are standing in front of the Sapphire Princess, getting ready to meet with Jaylene, and then Jaylene pulled up, and we all piled into her van, and off we went. And, you know, we, we, poor Stella and Richard, I kind of felt bad because we were, Jaylene and us were, we were catching up, you know, like, oh, what have you been doing? How are things been going? Da, 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 da. We were just talking, talking, talking. When usually Jaylene will commentate, you know, as she's taking you through Juno, bless her heart. And she, you know, I, I was, I feel bad, Jaylene, that I was not monopolizing the conversation really, but we were just chatting, you know. So I tried to hush up after a little while so that she could, you know, Tell Stella and Richard more about Juno. Of course, Barb and Don knew as much as Chris and I did, you know. So uh, this was certainly not our first rodeo in Juno. Uh, but uh, we ended up at uh, Ock Bay is where all of the uh, whale watching excursions take off from Ock Bay in Juno. Uh, a lot of you will have a combined well watching tour along with Mendenhall Glacier. Mendenhall Glacier is the other big attraction in Juneau. Uh, if you want to do that, you may want to get in touch with Jaylene and she may be able to drop you off, not into Mendenhall Park, but at the entrance. But you'd have to walk about a mile and a quarter back to the visitor center. You'd have to work all that out. You will, she will park the boat when you're in the Auk Bay right in front of Mendenhall, which I've got some pictures of Mendenhall Glacier. It is stunning from the water. So I'll show you that. But anyway, so we, we come into, uh, into the parking area in Auk Bay and there are bathrooms right there as you uh, get off in the parking lot. And of course, Jaylene tells you where the bathrooms are. So we all, you know, took it, took, took the opportunity, goodness knows, to go to the bathroom. And uh, then she said, we're just, you're just going to go over here and meet me under an archway, you know, and then I will lead you to the Alaskan girl, which is her boat. And uh, 
So we all went to the bathroom and we met her, you know, underneath this little awning kind of thing. And we started down the dock. Now, I need to give you a little bit of a heads up. Depending on what the tides are and what time you go, that could be a rather steep walk down and then back up. I'm just kind of warning you up front so that you kind of know that that is something that you are going to have to traverse. It is a well, there are handles on both sides there. You can either walk down a ramp type of thing, or you can walk down little steps, not steps, but um, it has places where you can catch your foot, you know, going down. I would call it steps, you know, but uh, it is kind of a severe or it was for us on this day, you know, uh, incline. So just uh, be aware of that. Uh, but then you go down this ramp and down the down the dock a little bit, take a left, and then there you are at the Alaskan Girl. And it is just a little six-person boat, clean as a whistle. Jaylene prides herself on having a beautifully clean boat. And I appreciate that. I'm a clean freak, you know, <laughs> and I really appreciate that. So we go, you know, kind of between two boats and she gives instructions as to how you need to kind of turn around, sit down and then swing your legs over and get on the boat. And that's what we all did. And uh, Chris stood there and held the boat with Jaylene. You know, he kind of helped her hold the boat for those of us who weren't quite as agile. <laughs> uh, so, but no problem to get on the boat. It's very easy to get on the boat and they're very, very careful. She is very careful, gives plenty of instruction you know, uh, as to how to get on the boat. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the boat. It is a six-person boat plus Jaylene. So there were seven of us on the boat. Uh, one side of the boat is, uh, there's enough for about four people to sit. And then on the other side of the boat, there's enough for two people plus Jaylene to drive. You can, there's a lot, a big area on the aft of the boat where all of us could fit very easily out there to watch for whales. And then you can also go through a door and you can go up front, but you have to be aware that you have to either kneel or sit when you're on the bow. And there is a place to sit up there, but you have to stay down. You can't stand up on the bow. In other words, you know, that's, that's a hazard, you know, so you just be aware and watch your head, you know, when you go through there, I'm tall. So you kind of have to watch your head as you go through there and uh, you can sit up there or kneel. And that's where Chris spent a lot of his time up there. And I mean, he was outside pretty much the whole time taking pictures. I was taking all of the video footage. I have to tell you all of the video footage that you'll see. I took with my iPhone, except for a little snippet that Jaylene took of us taking videos and pictures of the whales, which hopefully I have that, I think I do, and I'll be able to share that with you too. <laughs> uh, but, you know, already I'm, I'm giddy with excitement, uh, you know, at this point in time, giddy with excitement. And you should see Jaylene run this boat. I tell you, she drives this little thing like a champ. It, it, I'm so impressed by her on so many levels, you guys. I'm telling you on so many levels. So anyway, she very easily backs out and, you know, we all ask her questions about the, the you know, the, the you know, Oak Bay kind of marina there. And we saw a, an eagle per perched up on one of the light posts there. And um, I asked her if any whales, ever, any humpbacks ever come into kind of the marina. And she said that some of the older, there's like, I can't remember how many you said, Jaylene, one or two or I don't know how many, but she said the older, more experienced humpbacks who have been around the area for a long time can kind of maneuver through there. But because of all of the boats and them being moored up, you know, it's kind of a, like a, a maze for the whales. They're huge. I mean, these whales are, are massive, you guys. So, but she said every now and again, one will come up in, in, into, you know, the marina portion of Oak Bay and how neat would that be? Oh my goodness. I might, I might have a heart attack if one came up right beside me as I'm walking down a dock or something. Oh, my word. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're making our way out and, of course, going very slow, you know, until you get past the wake zone. And, uh, you know, uh, so many different boats to look at and things to talk about. And just it was a it was a beautiful day. Uh, it wasn't extremely sunny, which I was actually kind of glad about because sometimes it's easier to see the whales when it is a little bit cloud. You know, you have a little bit of cloud cover. So off we went and, you know, as we're chitting and chatting, you know, 
Jaylene, poor thing, finally got something a word in edgewise and said, hey, you guys, I've gotten some news of some uh, bubble net feeding activity. Would you guys mind if we went just a little further than we might and, and see if we could catch this bubble net feeding? And we were like, are you kidding? Uh, uh, yes, 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 let's go, let's go. So off we went, like a shot, out toward... Uh, Saginaw Channel, I think. I so off we went toward where she had heard this bubble net feeding was taking place. And we started to see it. Oh, I don't know. We were running maybe about 15 minutes or so. I really don't remember because we were chatting and talking and, you know, whatnot. And, uh, but we started to be able to see the blows. Many, many, many humpback blows. And that's how you see a humpback. If you're on the cruise ship, or on a whale watching tour, you're gonna to watch for their blow. Their blow can go way up in the air and you can see it from quite a distance away. As I say, these are huge, huge, huge mammals, you know? So we started to see the uh, all of the blows and they were all like together. You could see like many of them all together and she's like, there they are, they are, they're bubble net feeding. And so we got up to them, you guys, and I'm, I get so touched. <laughs> These whales are amazing. They are just amazing. They are, I just love whale watching. I don't care where I am in the world. If I can have a chance to do some whale watching, I'm going to do it. You know, it's, I, I would never tire and never, you know, not want to do it because, oh, who wants to see whales? Well, I do every time. Every time I want to see some whales. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, Jaylene has to stay 100 yards away from them. So, she very carefully positioned us with other boats that are around. And you will see some boats behind the whales as I'm, I'm fixing to show you some, some pictures here and some video. Please know that the boats that you see in these pictures are way far, much further away than they appear in the picture. I told, I asked Jaylene as I was taking some of this video and as we were taking some pictures, I said, those boats are not as close as they seem to those whales, are they? And she said, absolutely not. It's difficult to judge distance on the water. So just so you know, Jaylene is no closer than 100 yards, except for one time when they started swimming toward us. <laughs> And neither are the other boats. Everybody follows the rules, the standing rule. Unless the, you know, the you can't help it if they start coming to you. And when they started to come to you, she shut the Alaskan girl down. She shut the boat down so that they're, you know. Um, but what she did do too is she turned on the uh, hydrophone. I hope I got that right. I think that's what it's called. And you could hear the whales talking to one another. And so I think I have some video of that. And then I'm going to let the video play. And then you're going to see something that is very, very rare. Hasn't been too rare in Southeast Alaska in, o in the Ock Bay area, further out than Ock Bay. But in this area, they have been doing, the humpback whales have been doing a lot of bubble net feeding. Normally, humpback whales are solitary, you know, creatures, except for mamas and babies, of course. Uh, you know, a little story about humpbacks is they, they feed and they eat in Alaska during, during the summer, in, during Alaska summer. But then, it, and it varies of what time they leave Alaska, but they leave Alaska to go to Hawaii and I think they birth the cat. I'm not sure where they birth them. I think they birth them in Hawaii, nurse them. They do not eat the entire time. You know, that's like 3,000 miles, you guys, that they do this trek back and forth every year. And uh, they call the Alaska the kitchen and they call Hawaii the bedroom. Uh, but these mamas and their babies make this trek and go to Hawaii. And I believe that is where they have their babies and nurse them and then bring them back to Alaska and mama doesn't eat that entire time. Of course, the baby is nursing, but mama doesn't eat that entire time. They are amazing creatures. So anyway, back to this video footage here of uh, listening to them on the hydrophone. So you're going to listen to them, and then you're going to hear me say, there they are, there they are, something like that. And I turn my, my phone, 
and you're going to see some bubble net feeding. And then I, I might just do it over and over again. We saw so many bubble net feeding sessions. I lost count. I think we counted 18 humpbacks at one point, you guys. 18 humpbacks. Because after they would come up and do... do the bubble net feeding let me explain what bubble net feeding is real quick uh usually one of the whales kind of takes charge but a whole and calls a whole group of whales kind of to the dinner table if you will and they start blowing bubbles out of their blow holes and uh corralling if you will the herring and the fish and the krill and all this stuff and they they corral them all together with the bubbles and they bring them up and bring them up and bring them up. And then all of a sudden you see all of their mouths coming up wide open and they come up and they close their mouths over all of this fish and take in all this fish and then go back down. And then they don't sound uh, all the time uh, right away. You'll see that, you know, they kind of, uh, you know, swim around one another and then you'll start seeing tail after tail after tail after tail after tail. It is an amazing sight, you guys. I cannot tell you. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this, ever, so many times. I've seen bubble net feeding twice in the history of my whale watching experiences. But I, I, like I said, I lost track. I lost track of the times. So I'm just going to switch here to some footage of some bubble net feeding with these wonderful humpbacks. So let me do that now and some pictures and I'm going to put it to music for you guys, some pictures, and I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy this footage. Jaylene's Alaska, Jaylene's Alaska out of Juneau. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So I started cruising all around out here at 11 years old. It's like the best thing ever. Yeah. And so um, I actually, my first memory she that I have on of watching a whale Island. in my own boat was actually right out in front of my childhood home. What you hear is the whales talking to one another. They're calling each other for dinner. Hang it around, you guys. They're going to come up. There they are. Right there. Right there. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Whoa. 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 Oh, my word. Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. There was bubble net feeding, you guys. Bubble net feeding. Jaylene's Alaska, y'all got a booker. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my goodness. Word, <laughs> look at them. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, 
Come we go tail, yeah, tail, tail. Come on. <laughs> I get this. Oh my goodness. Look at all these tails. Woo! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right there, right here. I'm barely oh zoomed in. Oh my gosh, they're right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I think, I think that's 13. Third, oh, he agrees. You hear that? Yes. <laughs> I am not even zoomed in, you guys. They came to us. Now, Jaylene has to stay a hundred yards away from them, but they, when they come to you, it's you know, there's what can we do? Oh my word, oh look my at gosh. them! Look at them! Oh my word. No, I can't. I can't understand. But you know, it knows we're here. I don't know. It knows we're friendly, Jaylene. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, look at that! Wait! Whoa! 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 I'm sorry if I'm in anybody's way. What was that? That was a trumpet. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> Nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> the trumpeter. Oh, I'm shaking. Yes. <laughs> I can't even believe this. This is just crazy. Look at that. Oh man, I want to see you go through all that. Oh my gosh, I know. Oh, right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. This day. Right up over bar. Yeah.
see it blow way out there. Yep, there's one of our singles. Okay, they're coming up. Get ready. There they are. Nine there five. they are. Right behind them. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, my. Dang. That was like slow motion. It was. <laughs> oh, man. I was. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah. They are. They're coming this yeah. way. Oh my goodness. They are. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all these. Oh, 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 my, oh, gosh. oh my gosh. Are oh my you God. kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the music? Where's the music? Oh, that was just so perfectly like, oh, it was just like timed. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Three more. Wow. 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 Okay, four more. Four. Like, wow. Two in the back. That means they're really close. Like, that we can pick this up. Like, that means they're right under. Oh, actually. Oh. Where's your safe Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is amazing. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, right here. Right here. I don't I even know. So yes. I don't even know. Oh, oh, that. oh, that oh, like oh, oh. Uh, they're coming this way. Like they this are way. headed this yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know where to point my video. There's, there, there are too many of them. Yeah, look at them. Over near that little boat and over here. Now they're close to that boat. <laughs> That's not enough. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm I can't even believe it. Oh, right. oh my God. word. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? I hardly have, I, I'm not, uh, 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 I can't even talk. <gasps> oh. oh my word. <sighs> now wasn't that the most amazing sight you'd ever seen. Oh my word. We were beside ourselves with excitement. We were beside ourselves with all. It was an amazing, an amazing, an amazing day. 
So after we did all of that whale watching, you know, which was a lot and many hours, you're on the water with her three hours, I believe. And uh, I think it's a four hour tour, half hour there, half hour back to the cruise ship uh, and on the water for three hours, which is longer than some of the other whale watching excursions. You can go to her website and read through her FAQs. I encourage you to do that. That is how you make your arrangements with her via email. It is first come, first served. So be aware of that. Please get yourself in the queue if you are interested and you know your dates and you know when you would like to do a tour with Jaylene. So do please get on that right away if you know that you're going to be going this year or next year and see if she has any space available. Uh, so after all of the uh, whale watching, we went over to the Coast Guard uh, uh, buoy, you know, to take a look at the uh, sea lions, which have hauled out, you know, and uh, up on the buoy, and they were just snoozing away on top of one another, and they, they weren't squawking at each other. I've seen them before when they've squawked at one another, and they weren't squawking at each other that day, but... Uh, they uh, they certainly were having a nice siesta there. And then she took the boat and, and parked us right in front of Mendenhall Glacier. And we were able to take some pictures uh, with Mendenhall Glacier behind us. And I'm sharing pictures of all of us here, all six of us. And we were happy, happy, happy campers. Let me tell you something. Happy campers. So then she took us back to, you know, back into the marina. And we all climbed back in her van and she dropped us right back off where uh we got picked up and i think if we would have wanted to be dropped off like at the whale statue and walk back she would have done that uh you know uh there's a whale statue in juno too that is amazing you know so if you've never been there you might want to try to make time to do that we would have had time to do that that day for sure of course she had another uh a whale watching excursion that she had to do and so she dropped us right off at the Franklin Dock there, right again. And on the ship we went, and I think we went to, I don't know what we did for uh, lunch. I think we were back by lunch. So we went and had lunch in the, in the buffet. And then uh, I went back and looked at all my footage and just was just sat there and just watched those whales over and over and over and over again. I was just amazed, just amazed. And, you know, another wonderful uh excursion with Jaylene's Alaska was in the books. And I'm telling you, every time we go back to Juneau in the future, I will be trying to book with her every single time, you guys. Uh, just because I enjoy her so much and I enjoy the way she does her whale watching and her attention to detail and her knowledge of the whales. Uh, and she also put me onto a website called happywhale.com. So just so you know about this too, if you catch a whale tail, the underneath of the whale whale's tail, uh, every one of them is unique. And you can submit it to happywhale.com and say where you saw the whale. And uh, they will send you a uh, notification as to where that whale has been seen again. And um, it's, it's a pretty neat site. So I did submit, and you can submit it. Happy Whale engages citizen scientists to identify individual marine mammals for fun and for science. And it, it, we identify your whales by their unique markings. So if you don't know what the whale's name is, they'll tell you. They'll identify the whale if they have it in their, in their coffers, you know and let you know what the whale's name is, and, and every time they, the whale is sighted, uh, they let you know, which is really neat, you know. So, anyway, I think that is going to do it, you guys, for this one. I, you know, again, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to book with Jaylene Zalaska. She is an amazing young woman who uh, works so very hard to make the very best whale watching excursion experience, the very best it can be for you guys, I'm telling you. Uh, to finish out our day, it looks like it was a formal night that night. I'll share our formal pictures here with you. And uh, we just went to dinner and I don't know what we did after that. So that was our day in Juneau. And uh, did we go shopping in Juneau? I don't believe we did that that week. You know, I don't believe we did, but there are shops all along the dock. Uh, 
If you don't happen to have a whale watching excursion planned already or scheduled, you could do one on the on the dock. There are, I'm so sorry, my phone is doing funky things here today, sorry. Uh, you could certainly, you know, pick one of the booths there on the dock. Uh, I'm sure they are reputable and, or they wouldn't be allowed to be in a booth like that, you know, so. But I highly encourage you to, to go ahead and make your arrangements with Jaylene because she's the best of the best, in my opinion. And I've done many, you guys, I've done many. So that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and close this one down and um, just say thank you guys so much for joining me once again here. And I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you enjoyed seeing some bubble net feeding and some whale tails and my tales of our day with Jaylene. I hope all is well with everyone. So, for those for of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.